Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hopewell. I'm your host, Kelly Cianfano. Today is May 6th, 2022, and it is a D-Day. Everyone loves TV, and we all have our favorite shows. Here's Jaden with the top five TV shows according to our poll. Hello, everybody. I'm Jaden, and I bring you the top five best TV shows. First up, taking our number five spot is Game of Thrones. This has a very large fan following with the gory fight scenes and the awesome storyline. But sadly, the majority of the fans said that the show went downhill around season six and seven due to the fact that George R.R. R. Martin hasn't finished writing the books. Taking the number four spot is Stranger Things. This show came out in 2016 and was immediately a hit for all ages. Every character is loved by the fans and each season is just as good as the last. Many people love that it takes place in the 1980s and the directors really made the era come to life in a modern TV show. At our number three spot is Family Guy. This show has been around for a very long time, 23 years. Seth MacFarlane is the creator of the show and voices a lot of the characters like Peter Griffin and Stewie. This funny cartoon is loved by thousands of people all over. For our number two spot is Friends. This show came out in 1994 and was a hit. Its awesome cast and great storyline makes for a very well done TV show. All the characters have very different personalities and each person that watches the show can relate to the character in some way. Many people love this show and have watched it over and over again. Taking our number one spot is Breaking Bad. This show has very good actors and actresses and the storyline is very intricate and complicated. But many people love this show and the way that each actor portrays the character makes you fall in love with each one. If you haven't seen any of these TV shows, definitely go check them out and see what you think. Stay safe, Hopewell. Thanks, Jaden. Let the debate begin. Mother's Day is coming up. Here's Addison with more. This weekend, Mother's Day takes place. Mother's Day was originally created by Anna Jarvis in 1908 and became an official U.S. holiday in 1914. She created Mother's Day as a way of honoring the sacrifices mothers made. Today, Mother's Day is celebrated around the world. In the United States, Mother's Day is usually celebrated by presenting women with gifts and flowers. Make sure to spend time with your mothers this weekend. I hope all you moms out there have a wonderful Mother's Day. Boys Volleyball is in the peak of their season. Here's Anna with the Boys Volleyball Captains in Captain's Crunch. Hey guys, I'm with the Boys Varsity Volleyball Captains at their practice interviewing them. Hi, I'm Nick Lang, I'm number five and I play opposite hitter. My name is Sahith, I play setter and I'm number nine. I'm Larry Kennedy. I'm number one, and I play outside hitter. My favorite memory is having Mateo Picarillo on JV. <laughs> Bro, this guy, he's my guy right here, you know? Really made my, my experience magical. And don't forget, about Mateo Picarillo, the vice president. My favorite memory is Duke throwing up on the bus. My favorite warm-up song is Don't Play That by King Von. <laughs> so High by Doja Cat. Daphne Blue by the Bank Camino. My favorite cereal? Um, Honey bunches of oats, probably. Sea toast. Reese's puffs. And back to the morning buzz. Good luck with the season. And now, the movie mystery. Sancho, when you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants in your room. It's for fun. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Last week's movie mystery was High School Musical 2. Will I find what I lost you? No, you can't bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. That's all for now. Have a great weekend, Hopewell.